to sweat back on. Let's go. Somebody pinch me. Your love is too good to me. So, what is happening? And I'm back for yet another video. And I hope you guys are having a great time. And welcome back to my channel. Hello, hello, hello. Back. Just like that. Just like that, okay? Huh. I think something is missing. Okay, I think that's more like it, yes. More like it, people. <laughs> Y'all having a good fucking time? So, what's going on? I saw this video and I felt we should see what's going on out there because, you know, sometimes we are in our own world and we don't even know what's going on out there. And then I saw these 10 most insane houses in the world. I'm hoping that someday I'll be able to afford even a one room, a one room in bought by myself. So, I want to see these houses because they'll give me that inspiration to dream big, bitch. So, let's do this, honey. Five. Four, three, two, one. Today we're going to be looking at 10 of the most insane houses from around the world. Okay. Ever imagine how it's like living on a pole or in the sky? Well, stay tuned for number one. <laughs> pole or in the sky. Let's number see. 10. The Glass House. Even when looking at it from a distance, I was a penthouse with glass house and glass ceilings. And it requires a certain personality and taste for those who choose to live in it. Y y yeah. It's for most specifically people who do not care about their privacy. At all. This house is entirely see-through and pretty much leaves nothing to the imagination. Woo! Giving us sex on the city. All of the walls us. are pretty much giant windows allowing for it's a freaky to house. your home and bear witness to anything and everything that you do. It's a freaky According house. According to the architect that designed this thing, he took inspiration from traditional tree houses. Oh really? So instead of having the traditional first floor and second floor, the interior of the house is made up of different platforms set on varying heights. What? This gives you an impression of climbing into a tree house. Although small at only 914 square feet this house is the design gives you a whole lot of space for furniture and people at all thankfully this is not too busy allowing for some form of privacy considering the nature of the house mm -mm. but if you still need a little bit of privacy curtains were installed in some of the it's like you can house. look but you can Hopefully touch in the years i'm pretty sure neighbors won't be too keen on seeing what kind of business you do in you can look but you can touch honey Number Falling water. Wait, what the this fuck? This house was designed in 1935 and has become incredibly popular over the years for many reasons. I didn't even know a house like this existed. It was built over a waterfall, which is the main attraction about the house right in the center of a lot. Guys, did you guys know that such house existed? See, this is why I do this because I know I'm a hairstylist, right? And sometimes I want you guys to see how I see other things in life. You know why? Because I'm showing you guys how I see, I understand things. Because sometimes people, you don't know behind the screen, you know, you don't know anything about that apart from what they show you. So with this, you can, you can have an idea, a true idea of the person you see in the screen like that. Oh my gosh. Lush greenery. It was originally constructed to be a family weekend home for Edgar J. Coffey. Family weekend? They use it between 1937 and 1963 as their own private getaway. Ooh. Eventually, the home got deeded to the public and is now a popular tourist attraction. I can imagine. I can see why. more than 160,000 tourists per year. Unfortunately, time has not been very good to the home, which is now showing various signs of deterioration. Oh my god! And with the deterioration, the maintenance cost of a house like this is gonna be fucked high, right? Like. The outer walls must be washed very well on a regular basis, and rooms are repainted as needed. Oh wow! Even the bathroom floor, which is made out of corkboard, needs to be replaced periodically. Woo! Overall, there is a very close watch on the home and in making sure everything is at its best. Right! Number 8. Let's see. The Clock Tower Penthouse. Clock you Tower, people! You hate the sound of your alarm clock in the morning, so can you imagine looking clock inside tower. the clock itself? Well, the good thing is, this clock doesn't chime every hour. <laughs> Atop one main street in Brooklyn, That's York, right. the clock tower was transformed into a stunning triplex penthouse. Wait a minute! Wait, wait a minute! <laughs> what kind of man is this? <laughs> My so gosh! The trendy Dumbo or the down under the Manhattan Bridge overpass neighborhood. Oh wait, it's a Manhattan? A building that was originally built by cardboard manufacturers and the tower transformation project. I've been to New York so many times. The man behind the Dumbo project. Is oh, it's mimicking the Manhattan life. Six thousand eight hundred and thirteen okay. square feet penthouse offers you a three hundred and sixty degrees view of the city, overlooking the Brooklyn Bridge in Manhattan. Oh wait, it's a Manhattan. That is bomb. I'm just saying. 
important massive clock installed in the 14th Why well, there are so many houses that you can't even tell? A three story apartment with the ceiling going from 16 Woo! to 60 feet in height also has a glass elevator running up to its center. The penthouse of the clock tower building. Imagine who lives there, people. The most expensive condo in Brooklyn. It's. Was it for 25 million? 25 million. The most expensive what did I say? On record, it cost them near 11 I... million. The realtors, however, have been unsuccessful in selling the clock tower. Of course, it's 25 million dollars. Not exactly a bargain, but. Oh wow, you can actually see the bridge. Number seven. You can see the Brooklyn Bridge. The Flintstone House. The Manhattan Bridge. Sorry. If you're a Flintstones fan or following up very. Ooh. Yes, guys, like the name if you grew up in the 90s, you know, the Flintstones. Our favorite modern Stone Age family. Yeah. It is fully functional with modern Oh, events, wow. It still holds the extremely old school charm of the Flintstones TV show. Yeah. Oh, this is so cute. located in sunny Malibu and was designed for TV personality Dick Clark. I'm not surprised. It's to be more of a work of art rather than a home. It is worth $3.195 million. Definitely not cheap. No ball. Worked on the home, trying their best to bring the iconic cartoon home into our reality. The window frames are cut in order to reveal exactly how the original Flintstone house. Yeah. Inside, from the floor to the ceiling and walls are all made to resemble stone. Oh. Although the home is located on. Okay, this is. It is actually not that large. It is beautiful. Access to a private beach and incredible views from high up in the hills. Oh, to a private beach. This ain't no allegedly. The Croft House. Oh, the Croft House? This house is a major work of architectural greatness. <laughs> I'm so astonished! It follows a very minimalist yet modern design and is located in Victoria, Australia. If you don't know exactly where it is, it's quite difficult to find as it blends with the surrounding hillsides. Wow. The home was designed by James Stockwell, whose idea was to build a house that blends in with the land surrounding it. Quite unlike many of the other what? houses in this list, it is an easy home to maintain. Oh. That's mainly because of the materials used to build it. Zinc, among other metals, was used as well as compressed sand, resulting into a surprisingly sturdy structure. Yeah! The home is surrounded by wide ceiling to floor windows How? for a lot of natural sunlight to enter the residence. Oh, honey, it is it's sunlight it's everywhere. House that it's incorporated with solar energy, which not only makes this house green, but also reduces living costs. Right! A very sustainable... The Slide House. Oh. Can you imagine growing up in a house designed around a three-story no, house slide and where your home functions not just as shelter, but is also meant to be a fun place that you're just happy I know, Slide, in. honey. The Slide House in the Nakamaguro neighborhood of Tokyo was built to be such a place. Oh, it's in Tokyo, this Japan. This home in Japan is a rectangular building with a staircase that wraps all the way around one side of the house. Can yeah, I don't think I can travel to Japan on my own. Nope. The other side of the house. I'll have to travel with someone else. No way I'm going there alone. The stairs or slide. When I was in college, I loved traveling alone, but now... ...with three young children who wanted their kids to have a lifelong, joyful memories of their childhood home. Uh, the main living area is located on the second floor. Meaning with the goal of creating a playful home, there is an enclosed ball pit so at the center people of the really... The high ceiling in the living, dining, and kitchen area... Imagine how these people think. The large space. Damn! But a sense of and deal with everyday to day life. Like that's. It has you to outside, think better, do so better. That it might be just for a small better. House. The perfect camouflage for all the fun to be found inside. Oh wow. Number four. Let's see. The seashell house. Bitch. I wonder what life would be like living eh? in a seashell. At least I assume. I don't know. This house exists. It's, it's so crazy. Behind the beautifully crafted Nautilus. This giant seashell house is located in Mexico City and was built Okay, this house is insane. And was built Your stock. The house features a smooth front facade met with a giant wall of colored mosaics, lighting up the living space in a stunning rainbow effect. What the? Whether you think it looks like a giant snail or seashell, the home is definitely quite strange. But it was actually designed to Say strange is an understatement. Are you kidding me? A bioarchitecture. Inspired by the work of Gandhi and Frank Lloyd Wright, the house is dominated oh. by smooth surfaces, spiral stairs, and natural plating that make it feel like you're living inside a shell. It's yeah. a real house built for a young family with two children. This is the type of house you're like, I want to have want sex to in this house. Like, to nature. yes. Number three, the carrot house. The carrot house? You've probably heard of this one as it's the world's skinniest house. Oh. Designed by Polish architect Jakub Szczeny, I believe that's how it's pronounced, the carrot house in Warsaw is legendary. Wait, that is a house. That was nicknamed a cushion of air. Hold on. It's also between two buildings. 
The Garrett House Church is over 30 feet tall, but is simultaneously only 28 inches wide. Stop. Thinner than a stove top and just four feet wide. Is this is a house. With just 46 square feet of floor space and a world record for narrowness under its feet. <laughs> okay, this house is a bedroom, bathroom, a kitchen, and two beverage rooms. It is insane. Dude, I've been kidding. The first floor features nothing but a staircase at the second. However, when the staircase is retracted, it makes for a pleasant, although quite claustrophobic, living room. Gagge! Gagge! To get from the second floor to the third, you must climb a white ladder. Built in 2012, Sazani's narrow masterpiece is- Hold on! So when you- if you're like 60, 70, you cannot live in this house because you're like, uh, I am not climbing through that staircase. Since oh. as a memorial to his family killed in the Holocaust, the Carrot House oh. is named after Edgar Carrot, the Israeli filmmaker and author who was spontaneously asked by Sazani to be the house's first tenant. Oh. After Carrot agreed to the deal and lived there for a number of weeks, the Carrot House became open to traveling writers for the night's stay. Oh. As of today, the Carrot House is open to all visitors to Warsaw, so long as it's not undergoing maintenance. Oh. Now it's time for the day's best pick. Oh. Today's photo was sent to us by a subscriber. So if you can a photo online and want to know more details about it, just send it on over to us. We might even feature it on a future video. Number two. What the? the cliff House. The Our Cliff House? The house complete with a swimming pool literally suspended under a cliff, making engineers and architects around the world face palm simultaneously. Yes! Given the fact that there are actual cliff houses around. A house hanging. Real? On a cliff. The short answer is no. It doesn't even exist in the real world, but rather a striking. Are you kidding me, guys? Every time when someone is like a douchebag, hates has and stuff, you know, all these people, I tell them they can go jump off a cliff. Someone literally took jump off a cliff to a whole different level where they created a house hanging on a cliff. Wait a minute. Wait. Wait a minute. How? Wait. First of all. <laughs> what the hell? So of all things concrete adhesive this insane cliff house image was one of several produced no. by the advertising agency jwt in 2013 to promote a line of fester brand construction products the somos mas de lo que imaginas or the we are more than you imagine campaign featured a line of fester construction products performing amazing and improbable feats such as securing a house on the underside of a cliff fuck me the advertisement can still be found on fester's facebook imagine having sex that you're having sex on the cliff Number one, the pole house. The pole freaking house. It be a pole, honey. It be a pole. <laughs> How am I? The plot on which it was built. Now I know there's a house called the pole house. The architects came up with the most intriguing solution. They built a concrete platform on a 13 meter high pylon and they put the house on top. Elevating it like that, they put an emphasis on the views, but we're fixed. Oh, yes, the honey. There was no way to comfortably access. I live in the poor house, the people. The See, a narrow like the house, house alone has a class of itself. It's why I live in the poor house. Do you know a cliff house? <laughs> See you all next time. Allegedly. This ain't no allegedly. Oh, oh God. Did you guys see that right now? I felt just the name, the poor house, just made me feel like I was at the poor house. Ah. Okay, you know what? We all have to step our game. Yeah. I don't want to live an ordinary life. Yeah. I, I, can, I can feel it now. See you guys soon in the next video from Saudi and Dubs Studios. I'm not happy right now. I'm just not happy, okay? Bye guys. <laughs>